Chris Randall of Audio Damage, and we're showing here at Super Booth 18, we're showing Quanta. This is our new granular synth with a uh, fancy vector interface. Probably hope it doesn't crash right <laughs> this is This is an alpha, we haven't even got to beta with it. Basically, it's a 10 voice granular synth with, uh, with a separate side channel oscillator that feeds into the grain engine and noise that feeds into the grain engine. Uh, load AIF, Wave, uh, AUG, FLAC, MP3, just uh, drag and drop, whoop, shoot, drag and drop, and uh, like that. It has four 99 point breakpoint generators for envelopes, and they can be tempo synced and looped forward, back, uh, reverse, or ping pong. I'm sorry. So they can be used as a little tool, also, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or sequencers, too. And there's four of those. And then I have, we have two of our variable wave shape color phones. It can be pretty much any shape with these three knobs. We're going to put some uh, preset buttons on there so that uh, you can get triangle or whatever real quick. But uh, it's actually, once you learn how it works, it's pretty, it works pretty quick. And yeah, those tempo sync and retrigger, each voice has two. And then it has a full mod matrix. I really liked how Ableton, how they designed the uh, wavetable mod matrix, so we kind of borrowed that. I mean, I mean they, they made a very good design. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. So uh, you just touch any knob and it scrolls right to where it needs to be. And it has, you know, your four uh, envelope generators, uh, two LFOs, and then the yellow ones are the MIDI input. And Quanta is full MPE synth, so it has no velocity, uh, uh, poly and channel aftertouch, pitch band, uh, CC1, CC74, which is normally the MPE Y axis. And then uh, T trigger rand, which is from Massive. It's uh, just a feature of Massive. I really like it. Just a random number every time you press a key. Uh, it's really good for doing virtual analog stuff and whatnot. So we put that in there. The uh, oscillator is our uh, our variable waveform oscillator. It's basically like the LFOs. So and. Uh, and the noise is our, our usual, the same noise we put in everything. So you have one, uh, you, have two, you have virtual analog and you have to run it down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then and combine then, them. Yeah, exactly. So the oscillator can either play by itself or it feeds into the granular engine. Uh, so you can put it in to thicken up a pad or whatever. Like I like sometimes with granular, the pads don't have a real firm root note, and I thought that the single oscillator would uh, be going into the grain engine. You can actually you can use it without. That's that's no sample at all. That's just the oscillator into the grain. But uh, obviously. With a sample, it gets pretty sophisticated. And then uh, two multi-mode filters, four pole, or four pole, two pole, low pass, band pass, high pass, notch, in either serial or parallel. And uh, then the uh, the preset engine is XML based and fully cross-platform, so the uh, you can, if you use handoff, if you're on a Mac, you can you can copy on the desktop and paste on the on the iOS if you want. Or uh, the iOS version also has it has access to files, so you can load from iCloud, Audio Share, all your other apps, you know, whatever, and or Dropbox, of course. So uh, and, and other. The uh, iOS one is six voices, and the desktop one is ten voices, but otherwise they're totally identical. It's still the oh, well, iPad. Yeah, 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 the iPad just doesn't have. And it works on iPad 2 or iPad 2? Uh, or... iOS 11 is required for this, so that's uh, iPad Air 2. I, I don't, I'm not sure which device is exactly, I'll figure it out, but uh, anything that can run iOS 11 you can run this. And it will be audio units. Uh... Yeah, 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 oh yeah. I have it as, uh, I, 
I like the inner app audio better because I like the uh, big interface, but it'll look, it's an AUV3 as well. Um, I don't have the AUV3 done yet. It's, it's there, but uh, where is it? I, I had, so I have an AUV3. I just, it doesn't. I, for the for Superboat, we hardwired these to be MPE. And uh, for some reason, I can't quite figure out the MPE won't pass through AUM currently. So I, I have to learn why that is. But uh, but otherwise, the AUV3 and the and the Interapp Audio want to be identical, and they're identical to the desktop presets, copy cross everything. Okay. The AUV3, the AUV3 obviously won't have the uh, it won't it the AUV3 can't get to can't get to uh, files. Of course. So you'll have to copy your presets into the app bundle to use AUV3. So AUV3 will basically have its own set of presets. It can't see this stuff. And that's just how iOS works. There's nothing I can do about that. So like, if you use Identity, how you have to make a preset in Identity standalone and then move it into the AUV3, same thing here. We're just, I think their way works pretty easy. It's as easy as it can be. And so uh, we, just, we just use their way. I think, I think it makes sense, they did a good job. And uh, when we can expect it? Oh, uh, longer than four weeks, shorter than four months. <laughs> we're we're going to ship it when it's done. So and we, don't, and we won't know when it's done until it's done. And the expected price? 79 for the desktop, uh, with presets by Robert Rich. Richard Devine, Marcus Fisher, uh, our own Simon Claudius, uh, myself and Adam will do some as well. So it's, it'll, it's not going to have a huge amount of samples, but it'll have a lot of presets using them, using hopefully a small amount of samples. And the iOS one will come with the same presets, of course, and it will be uh, like all our iOS apps are, are a tenth the price. So if this is 79, this will be 7.99. So we're not final on the price we. We have to pay to have the presets done, so it depends on how much we spend, basically. Okay. The more we spend, the more it will cost. <laughs> okay. And that's Thanks, it. Thanks, Chris. My pleasure.